Hello, everybody. It's Friday. I'm a little bit late. I <laughs> had a dead iPad. Apparently, you have to plug your cord into the wall for it to charge. <laughs> Who knew? So I'm over here frantically trying to <laughs> unplug all the plugs on my power strip, you know, because there's like 40 plugs. And I don't know which one I can unplug to plug in my iPad. But anyhow, I'm here. And hopefully you guys have found me. Hello, everybody. I hope you've had a great week. It's Friday again. Man, time just flies. Even during this time of COVID, I, I just feel like time flies. Hopefully that means we'll fly out of it soon. Hello, hello, good. I'm glad you guys are jumping on. I have a table full of things to show you before we even get to the stamping. It's crazy, I have a lot to show you. So I'm gonna jump in and get started. Um, I'm gonna start by showing you some of the things I got in the mail today, or this week. It has been so fun. Let me pull you guys up on the iPad so that I can see you. Let me turn down the volume so I don't hear my voice. Isn't that the worst? When you hear your own voice, oh, it's the worst, I hate it. Okay, so I got some super duper cute cards from some of you and some little treats and gifts. You probably can't see it, but I got this little necklace from Lori, my downline. You all are so thoughtful. You know, for me, as much as this stuff that I make, I'm not very thoughtful. Like I don't stop to take the time to write out notes to people. You guys are wonderful about that. So thank you to all of you. Hey, Carla, yeah, it's a headband. Just pulled it up in my hair, pulled my hair out of my face. I got a haircut and so this part's really short and it won't stay up in a ponytail. Hey, Laurie, Laurie, I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, anyway, thanks, Karen. So I got some really cute cards. Um, this one I've already cased. Donna, I love the simplicity and the design. It's perfect. And I love the snails. Very cute. So Donna, you're going to see a case of this on next week's Facebook Friday using some new stamps that we have. Okay. Love it. Thank you. This one again with these snails. So cute. Sandy. Sandy's one of my longtime customers. Sandy, I don't know, but I feel like we've been together for a long time. Um, Sandy, thank you. Very sweet. I appreciate it. Um, this one came from Zara Penji. You guys may know her. She's a demonstrator in Canada. She's on the All-Star Tutorial team with me. And look how beautiful that is. I have played with this um, die set. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you guys in a little while. This month's tutorial bundle uses this whole suite. And this die just completely intimidated me and I hadn't used it. So I love the way she used it and I love the colors. I am always stuck in the colors that they show in the catalog. I have a hard time breaking away from those colors. So I love that she used different colors. Black and yellow is a fun group. Okay, now this, we, we've got to figure this out, you guys. I got this adorable pop-up. Look at it, look what it says. Well, I know it's backwards. Congratulations, one million in sales. Erica Sorwin. This is, um, a, we've, I don't think we've ever made one of these on Facebook Friday. We probably should. It, it, it's a card, right? It comes on the envelope and then it's a box. It's a pop-up box. There's no name on it. Who do I thank for this? Somebody took the time to do this and I don't know who it was. There was no return um, name on the envelope and no name on the super duper card. Maybe it's stuck. I don't know. Mel, it's just glued down. I thought, anyways, whoever sent me this, I love it. It's adorable. So please tell me if it was you. I love it. This one I posted earlier today. This was a special card. I've told you guys about, oops, <laughs> told you guys about Melody Hyde. Um, I've known Melody Hyde for quite a long time. She's actually the lead concept artist at Stampin' Up. Rewind a long time ago. Has it almost been, I don't know, seven, eight years, I was an artisan design, on the artisan design team. And one of my besties on that team was Jane Lee. Well, Jane was Melody's upline. And so I got to know Melody through Jane and we go out to eat, Melody's a foodie. She introduced me to really cool uh, places to eat in Salt Lake City. But she's an amazing stamper. And she, at that time, was working for Stampin' Up! But she's worked her way up and she is the lead designer at um, Stampin' Up! She makes all the, um, projects in the catalog she and her team there are kids out in the cul-de-sac so i have a feeling the dogs are gonna start barking i didn't put them in their kennel i'm distracted sorry there's for those of you that don't know there's a window right on the other side of this camera and it's very distracting i should have put the blinds down anyhow melody sent me this she is on instagram her name is hammond and penny 
Hammond, those are her dog's names, Hammond and Penny. You need to follow her. She does really clever things with the stamps. Um, and they have a, um, her and some of the other concept artists do, and I've told you guys about this before, Stampin' Through the Catalog. It's an Instagram account. And every week they put out two stamp sets and they ask you to tag them and then they put their, they showcase other people's cards that use those stamp sets. Really fun. And she's always, she always does a project every week. It's always gorgeous. Amazing. So anyway, I was super excited um, to get this because I, I literally, so on Instagram, I screenshot things that I want to save and I have a little album and I literally screenshot everything of hers. And this is something she posted a few weeks ago. It was a little bit different up here, different, I think it was a birthday card and I had actually screenshot it, screenshotted it. So anyways, love it. So exciting. This is super cute. This came from Dorothy Carter. Look at that, beautiful. I like the way she used that die. Just want to say, and then look, a card. And this bow was tied nicely and beautifully, but I took it off. Look at that box. And she put in the box the chocolate-covered blueberries that we talked about that I forgot that I knew. <laughs> chocolate-covered blueberries. Blue well, I, I see. Yeah, cho dark chocolate. Yummy. Thank you, Dorothy. And the little messages you guys wrote, super, super sweet. And then, of course, I showed you guys last week and what Carla sent me. And Carla, everything was like in pristine condition. Nothing got crunched in the mail. It was super impressed. And I told Carla to be prepared for me to copy everything that she sent me. She's a beautiful stamper. Super beautiful. Um, I like the background. You guys know I'm obsessed with a cactus. She, I'm a, I don't even want to open this because it's so cute. It's just with little, you know, it has a little tape and little stapler in it. And then the box. Look how she did the ribbon and the, um, the linen Oh, what do you call that braided linen trim in here is a oops i knocked that off in here is a cactus blossom bath and body works clever and then in here this cute little box which i've also it's not as nice and neat as it was because i've opened it up she found these little cute um clips that are cactus she said they were from amazon she also told me this week she found something really cute at walmart that I bought yesterday, Carla, and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna do a class or a retreat or something with this cactus coming up in the next few months, so you guys stay tuned. Um, but I loved all of it. Thank you guys, so sweet, very, very sweet. Um, I was very moved by all of your thoughtfulness. Very, very kind. Okay, where do I start? Let me tell you about Patty. I posted this earlier. Patty is one of my downline, she's been one of my downline, I think five years now. And her little business continues to grow. She's doing really good. She's working really hard and she's really trying to hit a goal at the end of this month celebration. Um, and in order to do there, she's got a sales goal that she's got to get to. So we were brainstorming some ideas of how she could get there. And one of the things she decided to do was a paper and a ribbon chair. So I shared her details on this group today. If you didn't get in on my paper share or you want another one, or I didn't even do the ribbons. If you want the ribbons, go over there and check it out. Patty's great, she's a hard worker, she does everything over the top, and I highly recommend her shares. So if you guys are looking for a paper or ribbon share, just scroll down here on Facebook and you'll see it, click over there, and it'll take you to her information. Her email is there also if you have questions, okay? Good luck, Patty, I know you're gonna do it. She's working hard. All right, the new All-Star Tutorial Bundle has come out. February is the Love You Always Suite. That's the very first suite in the catalog. All the, what I think of as Valentine stuff, it's not really Valentine stuff. It's more like love, wedding, all that. The tutorial has 12 projects in it, including mine. They're all videos um, that show you how to make them. We did a blog hop on Wednesday, so if you wanna go and see all of those details, just go back one post here on, or over on pinkfuckery.com. You get this for free if you shop with me at, at stampnut.com and you spend over $50. I mail them out about once a week. Um, you can buy it for $15 in my PDF store, all right? And if you're on my team, you get it for free. It's already uploaded on our team page, all right? So if you guys are interested in this, um, I believe the link is at the bottom of today's post. It's on yesterday's blog post, or you can just 
email me and I'll, I'll update the link here. When I'm done with this, I always go back and add all the links at the top. Okay, what else? Um, Club Create this month. The deadline to subscribe to Club Create is the 7th, which would be day after tomorrow. If you're interested in, in joining Club Create, it's $39 a month. You can cancel any time if you want to join for just one month. If you stay for six months, you get $25 in product of your choice for free. All the kits include around $20 in product, and um, you get five make and takes, and what else? Uh, video and PDF, all right? So you've got to do that by Sunday. Sunday's the cutoff. I will update this post with a link, but you can also click, there's a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create, and it'll take you to where you need to go for that. Um, okay, what else? Okay, let's, let's talk about classes. So the Hydrangea class, you guys have seen the Hydrangea Haven class. This stuff was making me nervous because remember, I believe it was last week that I said, Sam and I have done a great job with back orders. Remember when I said that? And then suddenly there's a ton of stuff on back order and this stuff was on back order and it was scaring me, but it's back and I ordered some of it today for those of you who've already registered. So this kit, this class is just a class, a, a standalone class. You can get it with the bundle, without the bundle. Um, you get paper, linen twine, a pack of these awesome, these were what were on back order for a while, um, awesome pastel pearls. And Zara, there's Zara. I just showed your card, Zara. Thank you. Um, and what am I going to say? What else was I going to say about this? I lost my train of thought. Anyway, PDF only version also is available. Uh, click the link at the bottom of today's blog post. <laughs> Thank you. Click the link at the bottom of today's blog post if you're interested in this class to go. It's um, beautiful. That that um, hydrangea stuff is gorgeous. I think I've told you guys, hydrangeas always remind me of my grandmother um, in Memphis. My grandma lived in Memphis and she had this gigantic hydrangea bush um, at the side of her house. And we took a picture one time when my oldest was a baby. It was me and my mom, my grandmother, and my daughter in front of that big hydrangea bush. So it always reminds me of my grandmother. Anyhow, that was a side note. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I also, I was really thinking that I was not going to be able to squeeze in an Easter class this year. Um, but I got it all designed yesterday. All of it. Boom. Got it done. Filmed the video this morning. So the Easter class is going to feature Springtime Joy. It's going to be four treats, four Easter treats, and two Easter cards. I'm going to list it. Um, to, no, I'm not going to commit. I'm going to list it by Monday. Here's all of it. I'm going to list it by Monday um, if you want. It's going to be kind of a quick turnaround. I'm going to have this out by the first week of March. I'm going to be gone and be out of town the second week of March. And then Easter is like the second Sunday of April. So... I was worried how I was going to squeeze that in there, but I think, I think, I think I can get it done. Registration will be probably next week and the week after. What is, what is today? Maybe two weeks. Anyway, look for it at the beginning of next week if you're interested in Easter class. I know some of you love Easter treats and um, that's a cute, cute class. And it's going to have a video that one of the projects was a little complicated and I was worried about how it would translate in the PDF. So I just filmed all of them in a big, long 40 minute video inside the PDF. So there's that. Okay. Another thing I want to tell you about is we've got this new adorbs, totally adorbs, um, set of stamps and dies. You guys may recognize this stamp set. It was a celebration stamp set back in 2017. Super popular. This new catalog that we're in right now has this stamp set and Stampin' Up! kept like teasing us like just wait there's gonna be an announcement well the announcement was that they've brought back this stamp set if you don't already have it and they've brought in dies for this old stamp set you can just get the dies if you already have a set or you can get both look how cute the dies are there's a little like hutch, little chicken wire, the corn. It's very cute. And then they also have the dies. Whoops, sorry, I just shook the camera. Um, there's another set of dies, which are a mess, to go with the birthday chick. Hey, birthday chick. All of this is on um, stampinup.com. You will only see this in the catalog. 
Next week, we're going to do the Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick for Facebook Friday. Ta da! Sneak peek, sneak peek. Look at that corn. Look at the dye. <laughs> it's cute. Okay? And Mary, what you're seeing back there, she says she's distracted by my clean counters. What you don't see is that everything that was on the counters is now on the floor. <laughs> so that you would think that they were clean. Okay? So don't feel too bad. I have to pretend. It was pretty clean today. There's not much on the floor, but typically it's a, it's a mess too. This is available now. If you want the make and takes, that'll be next week. Um, but if you want to order it now, you can order it now and use this week's host code and get this week's make and takes, whatever you want to do. Um, but it's available. Okay. And I am in love with those dies. I feel like those little dies are kind of like play playing dollhouse or paper dolls or something, you know, with all the little accessories. That's what I feel like. Cause it's, you <laughs> piece the little corn together and the little hutch. It's just really, really cute. So anyhow, okay. How long have I been? Only 20 minutes. Wow. I thought I was going to go a lot longer. Um, before we start stamping, we need to do door prizes and I need to talk about celebration. Last week I said I had two baby pool toys, not pool. That sounds like pool, right? Like swimming pool. Um, Ju Julia is, Hey birthday chick is on back order. The last I checked, it was on low, in low inventory, Julia. I haven't checked today, but it's the stamp set, not the dies. And Stampin' Up! makes the stamp sets in-house. So if it goes on back order, it'll be for a very short time. Um, they are able to turn that around really quickly. So if the, if the stamp set goes on back order, it won't be for very long. The dies, if they go on back order, that's when we have to wait. But the stamp set is easy turnaround. Okay, so baby pull, like a pull toy. The two winners for sharing the video last week, I know it's backwards, Cynthia Lynn. Cynthia, do I have your mailing address? I don't know, message me. And then Elaine, Elaine is my downline. I have her, I have her mailing address, okay? Congratulations, ladies, thanks for sharing my video. Um, this week I have two really good sets from the annual catalog, so sentimental. These are fantastic. So I will give these away to two people who shared uh, the vid this video on Facebook. All right, now let's talk about celebration for just a few minutes. Celebration, if you're new, is a time when Stampin' Up! gives away free stamps and paper for purchases of $50 or more. Here's the catalog, and everything in here is either free with a $50 order or a $100 order. Um, celebration usually goes from January to the end of March, but not this year. It ends at the end of February, okay? How, who, somebody count up the days and tell me how many days left we have of celebration, because I was gonna do it, and I, I know if I do the math in my head right now, I'll be wrong. If today's the fifth, what is that, 23 days? <laughs> Maybe. So you don't have very long, is what I'm telling you. So make sure that you've looked through here, that you've made your list of what you need. I highly recommend the designer series paper. There's four different packs. And you know what? I, have, I haven't even used this paper. And I love this paper. I've got to squeeze this in before the end of February. I love, love, love this paper. Pink and navy. It's my, one of my favorite combos. So make sure you've looked through this. Now, the other part of that is that if you buy the starter kit during celebration, you're going to get five packs of designer series paper for free on top of the $25 extra that you get. So you spend 99, you pick out $125 of product, anything you want, and you get these for free. Brandy, 23 days, you guys, I was right. Okay, so you have 23 days left to take advantage of this deal and anything in the celebration catalog. <laughs> you guys are fast. It's a delay on here. It's a pretty big delay. It seems like maybe 10 or 12 seconds. Um, this is a fantastic deal because not only do you get a lot of free, you then get a 20% discount from now until the end of June. You get to be on my team and get my PDFs for free. And you can get um, my class kits at a discount, plus all perks. You'll get to order from the annual catalog early. That's my favorite perk, <laughs> getting to order early. So if you're interested in the starter kit, make sure you check out that. I'll have the link at the top of this. At least, uh, correct, you also get a free paper pumpkin in your starter kit. I will, um, put the, and Terry too. Yes, no shipping, free shipping. Thank you. You guys remind me of all these perks. Free shipping. That's the only thing you ever get free shipping on the starter kit. I'll put the link at the top of today's video. Okay. 
Okay, my desk is cleared off. Yay. Let me close this, make sure things aren't falling out. We're here. We made it. Okay. Today is hearts and kisses. I keep wanting to call it hugs and kisses, but it's hearts and kisses. This is in the spring catalog. It is adorable and it's a bundle. Uh, you'll find it on page 14. Make sure you guys, when you see this, that means it's in a bundle price and you save 10%. But there's a special item number for that. So don't enter the item number for the stamp set and then enter the item number for the punch. Find the item number. Um, find the item number. I'm distracted by comments. Find the item number for the bundle so you save 10%. Carol says that the Hey Birthday Chick is on back order to the 22nd. I feel very strongly that that date will change. Usually the initial back order date is far. And then they adjust it to the... Um, more accurate so especially stamp sets that seems like a long time for a stamp set so and even if it was the 22nd that's not too long thank you carol for letting us know okay so there's that and if you haven't joined me for facebook friday go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now you'll find this hopefully has anybody tried did i link it right oh and i had created a new button for this and i forgot to put it there um, for the PDF. It has everything we're going to do today. It also has pretty much everything I talked about on the second page. And it has the host code. If you want to put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, I will send you the make and takes for free. Here's last week's make and takes. This is what they look like. They come to you pretty much ready to go. You, you'll need the stamps and the punch. I don't do any of the stamping. Um, and of course ink and adhesive, but other than that everything should be there for you and it ships for free So your order has to be over $35 and it needs to use that host code right there in the yellow and you'll see it when I turn the camera around um, And what else was I going to say? Oh, if your order is over $150 don't use the host code because then you'll get free Stampin' Rewards and I'll still send you the projects. Okay? All right, let's stamp. Let me turn you guys around. I just now I have I've done something different up here to my camera holder. Yesterday, I it was kind of connected to the light, which was making it kind of swing with the fan, and I feel like now it's too far that way. I think maybe it's okay. All right, let me turn down the fan. Anyhow, I still is shaking from the fan and move everything out of the way. And here's what we're making today. I decided we needed just a little bit more Valentine's Day in our life. And this stamp set doesn't really say Valentine's Day. It says Galentine's Day, which we'll talk about in a little while. Um, actually, nope, that's for Monday's project. So I'll tell you now, um, a friend of mine, when this came out, when this catalog came out, a friend who, will, who shall rename na nameless texted me and said, Erica, that V looks like a G. Why did they write the V like that? And I laughed. I said, girl, you haven't heard of Galentine's Day? She was like, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, so Galentine's Day is the day before Valentine's Day when you hang out with your girlfriends and celebrate each other. And I said in my video that it was from Seinfeld, but it's not from Seinfeld, right? It's from Parks and Recreation. <laughs> which is like a 20 year difference. Anyways, that's what Galentine's Day is. So Monday I have a bonus video for you um, showing you how you can turn that into a Valentine card if you don't want to do Galentine. Although I think sending a Galentine card is really cute. All right, let's get started. Mac, what are you looking for, buddy? I don't have any cookies in here. I gave them a, a chew thing before the video, and now he's already in here looking for something new. All right, this card, let me get adjusted. Hold on, hold on. I got I to gotta do everything. I got to get organized so that I don't make a mess. Okay, let's see. Is this straight? You guys know it drives me crazy if it's not straight. And then there's this delay, so I can't see on the video if it's straight or not. I have to wait like 10 seconds. And I need my tape. Hold, please. Sorry. Um, no, it looks crooked. Let's see. And it needs to go up a little bit. All right, whatever. I'm moving on. Um, this card. Where was I? This card. I made this card originally. 
like this. And do you notice the paper? That is from those free DSP stacks in the starter kit. And I decided to do this um, for Facebook Friday. And that meant I had to change that because I don't have enough of that paper to send out and make and take kits and I can't order anymore. Um, because you only get it in a starter kit right now. Um, so I changed it and I used a textured stamp for that piece. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Let me pull over all of my things. And we're gonna do a little bit of embossing. I love black and pink, you guys know. I'm all about the pink. This is melon, good old Melon Mambo. You know, we have, um, uh, magenta madness which I love too but it's totally a different pink it looks totally it's bright and you think it's the same but it's not all right now I am using textured essentials this one I love this stamp set this is a great stamp set if you don't have any texture stamp sets you should get them they're good when you need just something and you don't know what to do what to use so I'm gonna stamp this in Melon Mambo. Tone on tone, mel whoops, ah, Melon Mambo. All right, that'll do. <laughs> I set that down and I was worried, but you can't even tell. All right, that'll work. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Tone on tone, Melon Mambo, I don't know. All right, Melon Mambo card base. And we're going to put a four, by five and a fourth piece of cardstock right there if I can get it straight and then we're gonna put this guy right down the middle okay all right to make our tag we've I've got a stitched basic white circle we're gonna use blushing bride and I'm gonna use what do you call this a swath a scribble I was calling it a splatter but it's not a splatter what do you call this a, a scribble I don't know but it's like you know you're testing out your lipstick I'm gonna put that right there and then we need to stamp the kissy lips that's what I'm calling them, the kissy lips. My mom used to make sugar cookies. Is my mom on here? I haven't seen her yet. Um, my mom used to make sugar cookies when I was a kid and for Valentine's Day, and she had a, a cookie cutter that was kissy lips. We, that's what we call them, the kissy lip cookies. <laughs> um, so I always think of that when I see this. Now I'm missing a color. No, I'm not, it's right here. So we're gonna do that in melon swatch. Is that what you call it, a swatch? A watercolor stroke, yeah, a scribble, a swish. All right, so the, I think that the uh, consensus is, is that it's called something different by everybody. <laughs> There's no official term. You'd call it a scribble. Yeah, I don't know, just a swath is what I kept thinking, or a, or a splatter. It's not a splatter. All right, Melon Mambo and Cherry Cobbler. Not two colors you would necessarily think to go together, right? A swish. A scribble, a brush stroke. We have brandy brush stroke, but if it was with your lipstick, it wouldn't be a brush, would it? If you were just, but I guess maybe that's, cause I was thinking it was like you took your lipstick and went like that, but maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we've got these pieces. We need some dimensionals. And I'm gonna put this on here. This is a, basic black scallop circle. It's just a tiny bit bigger than that uh, stitched circle. And now we're going to emboss. And if you don't have a embossing buddy, they don't sell them anymore, and I don't know why, but someone here told me you can fill like pantyhose or a baby sock with cornstarch and it works the same. You know, was it Tina yesterday who emailed me about your white ink pad? She said, how do how much ink do I put on this? Because, you know, it comes uninked. And I said, I have no idea. Because <laughs> mine is either too juicy or too dry. But what I can tell you is that if you put too much, you can just kind of wipe away with your paper towel. 
Also what I find is that if I put too much like yesterday when it was super juicy, it eventually soaks down in and it's okay. So little tip for you. Sometimes even us professionals are not completely sure. Ah, look at that. Shall we try the other side? I'm gonna make a mess on my desk. Even as professionals don't always know exactly. There's, I don't think there's just really not, you know, a wrong or right way. Oh, I did it again. All right, let me get another piece of paper. Looks like maybe my pad still is too juicy, huh? Let's see. I'm gonna have to cut, hold on. Let's see if I can get this right. One more try. You know what's the problem here? I'm gonna stick that right there so that it doesn't pull up because that's it's slipping when I pull it up. And we're back in the game. Third time's a charm, my friends. All right, we need some white embossing powder. A scribble? Yeah, maybe a scribble. Scribble, I like that. That seems more accurate. And I didn't use the embossing buddy, did I, on this one? If you don't have an embossing buddy, embossing buddy, you can also just get a um, little skinny paintbrush, which I usually have. Yep, I have it right here. And just go in and kind of swipe all that stuff off. Alrighty. I love, love, love white embossed on black. I'm really actually loving it on all colors. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it was the it was the um, heat tool that I unplugged for my iPad at the beginning. I had a feeling that was it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna unplug the iPad. You know why is it that there's just never enough plugs? Especially when the plug is big. You know, it's fat. So then I have enough plugs. I just, they're just too fat. They need to be spaced out further on the power strip. All right, so you go, girl. And I don't know why my camera's moving. I can see it moving. I tried to fix that yesterday. I don't know what is moving it. The air. My breathing? I don't know. All right, so anyway, this is gonna turn shiny and bright. And that's how you know when it's done. You Go Girl is such a cute sentiment. And really, couldn't it just be used for so many different things? And we could all use a little encouragement from our girlfriends. So, I really like that sentiment. All right, what did I do? I cut them at an angle like that and like that. And now we'll piece this together. Um, Yvonne, thanks. That heat tool stand was given to me by a customer um, and she got it um, from Crafters Solutions on eBay. I'm um, not eBay, Etsy, Crafters Solution, Crafters Solutions, I think. It's a guy who makes stuff for his, his wife, who's a demonstrator, something like that. And he makes them on his 3D printer. There you go. Cute, cute. And then, uh, just a few more. Extra postage needed. And then we go like that. All right, now, for my ribbon. This is the ribbon I always say is the Halloween ribbon because when it first came out, it was with the Halloween stuff, wasn't it? It's great for Halloween, but look, it goes really good with this too. A little black sparkle. Oh yeah. All right, glue dots right there. And last but not least, these black dots, which I thought were on back order, but I just ordered a bunch of them. They are not on back order anymore. See, Stampin' Up's gotten really good. You know, back orders, a few years ago, if something went on back order, it was gonna be there for a while. But they really, whatever they've done to improve the back order situation, things are not on back order for very long. And a lot of times they come earlier than what they say they're going to come. 
little extra glitter there. And there we have it. Cute, cute, cute. My daughter is getting an award at school today, my youngest. They call it the Grit Award. Basically, it's like, I can't remember what the, all the letters stand for something, but basically being a hard worker. So maybe I should give her that when she gets home because I'm super proud of her. She was having a really hard time. You know, sixth grade is not easy. Starting sixth grade is not easy virtually. And she was, she was struggling at the beginning of the year, just kind of adapting to being a sixth grader in middle school. And so the fact that her, her ELA, her language arts teacher, uh, nominated her for that award just makes me super proud because that is not her favorite. Well, it wasn't her favorite subject before this year, and now she loves it. Isn't it, isn't it amazing what a teacher can do? A teacher can make you think that you love a subject when you thought you didn't. Ah, teachers. All right. Next up. I've got a 3D project for us. Let me get it over here. When I first saw this stamp set, I wanted to do something with these lipstick pens. I've done things with these in the past. I even went back to see what I had done with it. And we're gonna do something a little bit different this time. I, I, I told you guys, hello, can I speak? I told you guys I was having trouble with the stamp set and it was this project that was giving me trouble. And I realized the problem was is that it needed some things to go with it, right? It just was too boring by itself. The project was little, I didn't like it. So I looked on Amazon and I found these cute little notepads, perfect for this little holder. Um, they're cheap too and it was next day shipping. So that fits in there. Well, it should fit in there. And then, so then the lipstick goes there. And then I thought, okay, well, that's cute, but where's the candy, right? And so these fit right here. And who was it today who informed me that these are raspberry and cream Kit Kats? Um, excuse me, I didn't know that was a thing. I bought these because they were pink. Kit Kats just really aren't my thing. I'm like, whatever, they don't really tempt me. But now that I know this is raspberry, I'm gonna be in trouble. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Raspberry is one of my favorites. Raspberry cheesecake, mm, delicious. Okay, so let's make this. This is really easy too. And you'll notice, look at that, the little envelope from the snail dies. So cute. All right, let me get my card stock. And I also need my PDF. The PDF has the measurements on it that you will need. Carla, is it good? That's what, I can't remember who said that today. They said, don't try it because you'll be sorry. <laughs> I, oh, I lost two and a half pounds in the last week and a half, so I'm gonna try to resist. I'm gonna try. Because this COVID-9 that I gained needs to get out. Because fingers crossed, we're going to Maui with Stampin' Up! the the end of the spring hopefully okay here we go we have got five and a fourth by seven and a half uh poppy parade we're gonna score the short side at half an inch one and three eighths three and seven eighths and four and three fourths turn it to the long side and score it at four and a half and five and three eighths all right, let me set that down. That is gonna fall. And my bone folder, it's here. I have noticed, I don't know if you guys have noticed, that the Poppy Parade cardstock seems really thick, like thicker than our normal cardstock. I like it, but it does require a little bit more muscle when you fold it. I don't know. Have any of you noticed that? I like it. All right, so burnish all your lines. Now, we're gonna cut off these two outside rectangles. So you can use your trimmer if you're worried about getting this straight, because that's a pretty long cut. Or if you're like me, just wing it, because nobody cares if you give them a treat that has crooked sides. Nobody cares. They're gonna be looking at the stuff that you gave them and thinking, oh my gosh, that was really thoughtful. 
All right, so don't be hard on yourself if you cut crooked lines. Now, cut here like this, and then cut this one off. Okay, you following me? And then trim and trim, corner, corner. Now, somebody recently said that I was going too fast, but I wanna remind you all that there are clean recordings of these projects over on YouTube. They are uploaded right now, ready to go, waiting for you. So if you're gonna come back and make this, go check out the clean recording and it, you can pause it. And I always set the paper down like that so you can look at it, pause it, that's what I like to do. And then just trim your paper so that it looks like that, okay? All right, now I have the Snail Mail Designer Series paper, super duper cute. I'm gonna put a piece right there in the back and then here in the front like that. Oh, I'm glad you asked about the lipstick pins. The lipstick pins and the notepads are on Amazon. If you go over to my blog, under this photo, I have the direct links for you right there. And you can click on them and add them. Real fast shipping from Amazon. I know it probably um, depends on your location, um, but I think they're pretty fast. You've got plenty of time to get them. All right, now I put adhesive on the outside of those and I'm gonna push those up into that squaring, that bottom right there. And then I should have put my adhesive on here already. So I'm gonna do it right here. Put your adhesive on your tabs before you fold it up. All right, and then fold up. I, the only thing I didn't link today were the Kit Kats because those were from Target or Walmart or wherever you get your Valentine candy. All right, and that's it. That's easy. You can make these in no time. Now the notepads are different. There's a little different selection of them, but they all pretty much coordinate. They're reds and pinks. So this one, we're gonna put there and there. And our raspberry Kit Kat that I'm gonna have one of, and I'll report back and let you know. <laughs> okay, now for this front tag. This is so stinking cute. And you know what? I need this scrap of paper right here. So this is from, again, the snail mail dies. And somebody asked me if I was gonna use that. Yes, I'm gonna use it. I just don't know when, um, if it's gonna be a Facebook Friday, a class, or a Club Create. I don't know, but stay tuned. It's so cute. Um, so yes, that and the kangaroo set are coming at some point. Okay, so you fold in your little envelope. And we're gonna take the XOXO and we're gonna stamp that onto the little letter, okay? Fits perfectly. And then I did this with a dimensional and I think you could do it with a dimensional. You just stick that like that. But before we do that, you could use Tombow, do whatever, however you want. I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. That was probably way too much. And I'm gonna slide this into the envelope like it's popping out so you can see it. We wanna be able to see the whole thing. Okay, and I'll push that down, that dimensional. Is it gonna stay? I don't know, I probably should put a little bit higher. Okay, so then let me get one of my clothespins. We're gonna hold that closed. Let that glue dry on there. Um, now we need the kissy lips. We're gonna do them in Poppy Parade this time. Let me clean my stamp. This stamp, I believe, is distinctive, our distinctive design, but I don't see that it says that. Do they still label them like that? You know, it's flat, but when you stamp it, it gives you that awesome detail. You can see all the lines, right? Like it's textured, but the actual stamp is flat. And that is a technology stamping up developed called Distinctive. And I don't know why it doesn't say that on there. All right, maybe it says it in the catalog, I don't know. Or maybe they just don't even point it out anymore because they use it so often. All right, there we go. Bring this guy back over. Put our little kisses. <laughs> yes, Blenda, I will, I will sacrifice my calories today for all of you to let you know whether the Kit Kats are worth it. 
I have a feeling there, it said, what does it say? Raspberry and cream, so they must be white, like white chocolate. Yummy. I've been trying to do so good. You guys, I found this awesome recipe for a cilantro chicken salad, and it is so good. I've been eating it all week. You know, I do that. I find something I like, and then I eat it, eat it, eat it, and then I get tired of it. So I need to slow down and give myself some time to not get tired of it. It's so good. I need to share the recipe. It, I just, I am so excited for lunch. <laughs> and lunch is one of those things I just never know what to eat. I don't know. Do you guys have that problem? Breakfast and dinner, no problem. Lunch, I just, I'm like, what do I eat? Yeah, I have to plan ahead. Anyways, did you see what I did? I didn't even tell you what I was doing. This is the black and white paper. Um, it is an inch by three, an inch by two and a half, maybe. I didn't put that on the PDF. Let's see. I know I had it in my notes. It's three. Three by one. One and a fourth. I punched both ends with a tailored tag punch and everything with a dimensional like that. Now, these are a little bit loose. Just a little bit. Like, they they fit, but I feel like they're not tight enough. So, I took my favorite twine because, you know, it needs a bow. And I tied it all together. Let's make those stick out a little bit so we can see what they are. Tied it all together with a cute little bow. My favorite black and white twine. They need to have twine like this in all the colors. Don't you agree? Stampin' Up, listen, listen to us. Red and white, pool party or coastal cabana and white, navy and white, yellow and white. Yes, please. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? These would make great class treats. I don't know, would the boys, boys might not like a lipstick pen. I don't know, maybe. I always think of the teachers. If you were on the PTA or you put teacher treats in mailboxes, they used to do that all the time. They'd go and put little something somethings in our in our teacher mailboxes. Office gifts, um, anybody really. But maybe 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 the boys wouldn't want a lipstick pen. I don't know what's wrong with them, but maybe they wouldn't. So maybe for all the girls in your life. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you guys like that little updated. Um, lipstick pin. I was going to show you also that this will fit too, these little hearts, but I don't know. I, did, I feel like it covered that up too much. Maybe not. That's cute too, right? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put these in my pocket for later and I'll give this to somebody else. <laughs> All right. One more project. Let me clean up my desk here. Make room for the lollipop pockets. Lollipop holder. I feel like I always name my things holder. The such and such holder, the little Debbie holder. I don't know. So I'm trying to think of new names. So this, instead of a lollipop holder, is a lollipop pocket. All right. We're going to make it a little more creative. And I want you to notice that one is black and one is white. That's because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing when I filmed my clean recording. But either one will work and notice how the color of the lollipop is totally different. The black one, you can't really see it, but the white one you can. So I kind of like the white better. These again, yes, linked on my blog on uh, from Amazon. Quick turnaround, kissy lip lollipops. <laughs> yes, you need these. And they look yummy. I'm not a big lollipop person, but I don't know. Those kind of make my mouth water. Okay, so let me show you. These are easy too. These would be really, really easy if you needed to make a set of class, you know, class treats. Are people in, are kids in class? Are, are you guys sending treats to school? I don't know. My kids are in school, but I don't have elementary kids anymore, so I'm not even sure what's happening. And then I'm scared to send the teachers things because they're going to be like, ooh, I don't want to touch anything that came from home. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> weird, weird times. What I've done here, these are the Hippo and Friends dies from the um, annual catalog. It's the biggest and the smallest. I cut the biggest from our designer series paper that is called True Love. I can never remember that name. True Love. And then from white, or as you saw on the other one, black. And then I cut the smallest one out of white, and we're going to do our stamping on that. Okay, so you need to put a score line on the, the um, DSP one, the pattern paper one. 
And so I'm gonna get this on here and these are, I'm calling these pointy bumps. <laughs> That's their official name, these little things right here. Can you see that shape? The pointy bumps. And you can decide where you wanna put your score line. If it's, if it's too high, then it covers the lollipop, but if it's too low, then you can't see the striped paper. So I am gonna do it just right above that pointy bump right there, okay? Can you see that? And then fold it over. That way you can still see that. You can see that, you'll see the lollipop. All right, so put a score line on the first pointy bump. And then we're going to, we're just gonna leave a hole to put this through. So I'm gonna put adhesive here and here. To stick this flap down, you just need to put a dimensional or two like that. And then I'm gonna get my Tombow and I'm just gonna kind of run the glue on the edge, stopping between the pointy bumps. It's an official term, pointy bumps. All right, um, Yvonne says, my sixth grader sitting treats class is celebrating, store-bought only as usual. Oh, well, that's good. See, normal life, good. That makes me very happy. Kids need normalcy. That makes me super happy. All right, um, that's gonna make me send treats for the teachers too, because we all need some normalcy, don't we? All right, I'm just gonna stick some clothespins on there to hold those down for a little while. All right, now let's do our stamping. Notice that here's the stamp. It's all in one and sealed with a fits just right on that label. So what I'm gonna do, you can, you can eyeball it, which I did on the first one and it was fine. But if you're worried about it, just get your stamparatus and let's make sure it's clean. Put it here. Am I still in the camera? I can't tell. Put it down, put your magnet on there, get your stamp and see where it's gonna go. Right there, maybe oh, just a little bit. I mean, it barely fits, but it fits. All right, pick that up and black ink is still over here. Thanks, Catherine. And then I'm gonna lay it down and stamp. And look at that, perfection. Don't you love the Stamparatus? Okay, now I'm gonna stamp it again on just a piece of Whisper White. Nope, it's now called Basic White. How, if you've called something one thing for 12 years, how do you retrain yourself to call it something else? Our white is now called basic white instead of whisper white. We changed manufacturers or something, and so it's gonna be a while before I get used to that. Okay, now, you guys, remember at the beginning I showed you that card from Melody? She's the concept artist at Stampin' Up! When I, I followed her on Instagram and one of the things she made a little video where she showed she took a pencil and went around like this to fussy cut the words. And that's who we learned it from. So you need to follow her on Instagram. All right, so go around, make a little bubble. I know it seems like, okay, why do you have to do that? Just cut it. It really does make a difference. It makes your eye and your hand less nervous. <laughs> You know, because when you're cutting something like this, if you're like me, I'm like, oh, do I go up, down? I don't know. Did I go too far? Well, if you do it with your pencil, then it's going to be exactly how you want it. And, you know, if you mess up with your pencil, you just erase it, draw it again, and then just follow along the line with your paper snips. These paper snips are Stampin' Up! and they're 10 bucks. And if you don't have them, you need them. They're super good, sharp, pointy scissors. Look at that. Looks like it came out with a die. All right, now let's stamp our lips one more time. Can you tell which stamp in the set is my favorite? <laughs> Definitely the kiss. Definitely. All right. Oh, and I was going to show you too. When you stamp this kiss, stamp at the bottom edge of your cardstock. Um, when you have a punch that has two things on it, you kind of need to look at your, you know, where you're going to stamp your image. Um, this one, if you do it at the bottom edge, then you're not wasting any paper with that. If you did it up here, then you'd waste paper. 
So stamp it towards the bottom edge and punch it, okay? Now, we're gonna put this kind of wonky to the side like that. And then I'm gonna get a mini dimensional and put this sealed with a kiss. And you know, I really wanted to use that sentiment on here, but I just couldn't make it fit. I played around with it a lot. I actually made this originally for this. That would have been cute. Maybe I should have stuck with that. I don't know, but I really liked that too. Either way, either way it's cute. All right, let's get our lollipop. Stick it in. Remember, you left that open with no glue. And you know, I don't like all that. So we pull that down a little bit, the wrapper. There we go. Let's stick that in like that. And we have this ribbon. I forgot we had this ribbon. I have um, like six bolts of this in my drawer and I thought I had retired and I realized it's still in the catalog. Why have I not been using it? It's the double stitched satin ribbon. Ellen, that is a great question. She says, I wonder if those lips are based on a real person. That's a great question. Like did somebody kiss a paper and then they used it for the graphic? I don't know, those lips are pretty perfect. They are pretty perfect, like Angelina Jolie lips or something. Who knows? All right, tie your ribbon. This ribbon, I have a lot of it because I use it at Christmas. It's great for Christmas and Valentine's, but Christmas gifts too. It makes really pretty ribbon on a gift. All right, and then one, two dimensionals. Oh, look, Charlie went outside to bark. Good job, Charlie. I don't know why he didn't bark inside. He's probably gonna come back here in a minute. And there we have it, and it just pops right out. Isn't that cute? So those are those dies from the Hippo and Friends. So which one do you like better, black or white? You know, I really think I like the white better. The black was my original design, but the and the white was a mistake, but it just, the lollipop shows up so much better with the white, don't you think? I do think so. All right, I'm glad you guys like them. Yes, Wendy, I'm glad you're here too. All right, so let's review. Oh, also, here's the bonus project that I will post on Monday. I've already recorded the video, okay? And it's got that happy Valentine's Day. So I will remind you on Monday that I've got a fourth project for you. All right, let's look. I always like to look at what we made. We made these super cute boxes, the lollipop pockets, and the card. If you would like these um, free, I'll send you the project kits um, next week. Your order needs to be in by Monday at midnight. Here's the host code and your order's got to be over $35. Um, if your order gets to $50, remember you then also earn the free PDF from me, the uh, all-star tutorial that has the 12 tutorial videos in it, as well as a celebration item. So, it would behoove you to bump it to 50 if you ask me, but you know, <laughs> I'm always going to say buy it. But anyway, you get something free for it right now. All right. That is it for me, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to share the video for um, a chance to win the projects. I mean, the stamps. And I'll see you guys next Friday with the Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.